Hello people of now what's going on? I'm the Mighty Blue 2. Welcome to my BPL Team of the Season prediction video. As you guys know, depending on when you're watching this video, Team of the Season is either out or will be out in a few days. Uh, the BPL Team of the Season will be out in about a week, I think. So I figured this would be the best time to record my Team of the Season prediction. For every player I um, guess which, who isn't in the starting 11, I will have to do a forfeit. There will be another video on that at a later date. So we're going to get right into things. And in that, I have gone for David De Gea. I think this, for me, has been the hardest uh, year to choose in terms of goalkeeper because there have been so many good players. I mean, De Gea, Butland, he's been brilliant this season. Petr Cech. But I did go for De Gea. Just going through some of his stats here, he has been absolutely incredible. Um, I think he's got, he's had 14 clean sheets, which is just, it's absolutely unbelievable. Um, I think that's the most clean sheets for a goalkeeper in the league um, this season. So that's obviously a big stat. He's made 77 saves this season, which is an average of 2.57 every game. They're incredible stats if you think about it. Um, at left back, I have gone with Danny Rose. I think Danny Rose is very underrated actually. He is a brilliant player. Um, this season, he has had eight clean sheets, um, 74 clearances, nine blocks, but, uh, an average of 0.36 clean sheets per match. Not the uh, greatest, but you look at his uh, attacking stats as well. He's got one goal, 16 shots, 3 assists, 83 crosses. Um, so those attacking stats as well. They're not bad for a left back to be honest. Especially when you consider he's got people like Kane and Ali and Lamella. Um, all ahead of him as well who were getting most of the goals. The first centre back I have gone with is Robert Hooth. He used to be brilliant for Stoke, and then over the last few seasons, he's drastically deteriorated. But this season, he has been, in my opinion, probably the best centre-back in the league. Um, I chose him over Wes Morgan, which could be a bit con controversial. But I feel that Robert Huth has been the better player, to be honest. Um, he's got 15 clean sheets. 32 blocks, 246 clearances, uh, an average of 0.44 clean sheets a match. Um, he also has three goals for centre back. That is brilliant. Um, he's got tw he's had 24 shots. Uh, two of his goals have been headers. Uh, and then this is all from a guy who's been playing in the Prem for over 14 years. I mean, that is just absolutely incredible uh, when you think of it that way. 14 years he's been playing in what's probably the best league in the world and he's still performing like this. It's unbelievable. And then the second centre back, I have gone for Toby Alderweireld. Again, he's been absolutely unbelievable for Tottenham this season. Um, Again, a very underrated player, I think. Um, he has four goals this season. He's also had 30 shots, 13 clean sheets, 30 blocks, and 20, uh, 268 clearances, sorry. Uh, an average of 0.37 clean sheets a match. Um, so, again, a centre-back who's good at getting forward and uh, scoring goals. But at the back, I mean, these stats aren't everything. Um... You look at the way they play, like the chances they create, um, like the tackles they put in. If you watch some of the highlights, which I will put in later in the video, um, they are unbelievable. Going on to right back now, there's only one choice here really, and it is of course Hector Bellerin. He's come through Arsenal in the last uh, one or two seasons really, and he has been absolutely brilliant. One, he's going to be one of the best right backs, if not the best right back uh, in the world in a few years' time, in my opinion. 
Um, he's got one goal, four assists, 99 crosses. Um, so he's created a lot of chances as well. Um, he also has 16 clean sheets, 7 blocks, 81 clearances, and an average of 0.48 clean sheets per match. Bellerin, for me, has been the best defender in terms of getting forward in the league this season. I mean, his pace, defenders must take playing against him. The first midfielder I have gone with is Dimitri Payet. I ha this was the hardest position to pick for me. I had to choose between Payet and Ozil. And obviously that's been the best, uh, the my biggest thing this season, choosing between those two, uh, who's been better. But I've gone for Payet. Ozil has double the number of assists. But Payet has uh, quite a few more goals. He has nine goals. He's had 43 shots, nine assists, 142 crosses. Uh, with an average of 0.33 goals per match. Um, I think without Payet, West Ham this season would definitely not be doing as well as they are. Uh, he has helped them out so much and he is one of the best signings anyone made this season, I think. The second midfielder I have gone with is the young Delhi Ali. What a player this guy is. I mean... He's, I don't even know how old, I think he might be 20, um, but he's got 10 goals with 9 assists. I mean, considering he was playing in League One uh, for MK Dons last season, to come to the BPL and play for one of the biggest teams, he's playing for England now as well. He has been absolutely incredible. Um, he's had 47 shots with 19 crosses and an average of 0.3 goals per match. I mean, this guy is going to be one of the best players in the world in a few years. Mark my words. Playing next to Deli Ali, I have gone for N'Golo Kante. Fairly obvious. Again, without this guy, Leicester this season would definitely not be at the top. A lot of people are talking about Vardy and Mares, but for me, Kante and Drinkwater in the middle have been just as important. I mean, they win pretty much everything. They create a lot of the chances. Um, and Golo Kante this season has one goal, um, but that's not too bad considering he's a defensive midfielder. He's got four assists and he's had 15 crosses. But you look at some of uh, the Leicester games um, where Kante has played, and he's just dominated the midfield. He wins everything. His work ethic is absolutely incredible. Um, there's something wrong if he doesn't get in the team this season. And then at right mid, I have gone for Riyad Mahrez. The BPL player of the season. Algerian first season playing in the BPL. I think this is for him. But he has been absolutely unbelievable before this season really no one had heard of him um like a bit like Vardy um he's got 17 goals with 11 assists for a wide midfielder that is unbelievable um he's had 82 crosses and he scored four penalties he's averaging one goal every two games and he's a wide midfielder um I mean He's one of the best African players to be produced in years. Um, obviously, it's hard to compare him to Yaya Torre because they play in very different positions. But, you know, in terms of best African players in the BPL recently, it's between those two and Drogba, I think. He's been absolutely incredible. Um, again, without him, Leicester definitely wouldn't be where they are first striker I have gone for is Harry Kane. I thought he would just be a one season wonder. I thought he got lucky last season but no. This guy is unbelievable. Um, obviously he is the uh, top scorer at the minute. I think Aguero is maybe one or two behind him but Harry Kane for me has been absolutely incredible. 
24 goals this season. Uh, he's had 113 shots. Uh, he's got one assist, which isn't the best, but again, he's been getting most of the goals. He's scored five penalties, and he's had 41 crosses. He's averaging 0.69 goals a match. I mean, you look at how young he is, and like he starts from the last two seasons, and it's absolutely incredible. Some of the young talents that BPL has produced in these last few seasons is unbelievable. Um, some of the best young players we're ever going to have in the BPL are playing right now. Um, I think it's been the most entertaining season for a long time, to be honest. And then the final player I have put in the starting 11 is Jamie Vardy. Wow! This guy was playing non-league football four years ago. Uh, he was playing for Fleetwood Town. And now look at him, he's been one of the best players in the league this season easily. Um, obviously, he is suspended at the minute, the same with Deli Ali, but um, he should be back soon. Unfortunately, Deli Ali won't. But he's got 22 goals, uh, he's had 86 shots, he's scored four penalties, and got six assists. He's also had 45 crosses. He's averaging a goal, uh, sorry, 0.65 goals every game. I mean, this guy isn't young. Um, he is quite old, I think he's 28. So, he's probably already had about half of his career and he's mainly been playing non-league football um, and to come to the BPL and really this is the first season where he's been one of the starting strikers for Leicester. Obviously he was playing last season for him as well but David Nugent was starting most games for him then. But Jamie Vardy, absolutely incredible. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. Make sure you look out for the forfeit video, um, which will be coming soon. Uh, also keep an eye out for my Road to Dark Matter series and the next episode of Draft Pack Picks. If you enjoyed this video and you are excited for Team of the Season, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. You guys are the best.